we are going to learn the observe the numbers means we have to observe these numbers and we have to fill in the missing numbers how we are going to do that that we will see with the help of examples right now let's see over here i have written some of the digits right and after that i in middle i have also put in the blanks so now first let's observe this digits that what what i have written over here so 37122 after that over here it is 38122 so you can see that this three number this three number you can observe that is same only right and which number is different like over here it is 37 38 so now after that we are going forward right so we will write over here 39 1 2 then over here it is 40 so 41 then 1 double 2 and after 40 then 42 1 double 2 so this way you have to fill in the missing numbers with the help of forward counting or backward counting skip counting right now let's see another example over here this we have done with the help of forward counting right now this we are going to do how we are going to do this first we have to observe that that what is the pattern over here so let's see 10170449 after that 150449 90449 so you can see that 449 is remain same so over there we will not do anything we will write it as it is but now from here it is like 00449 is same and now over here it is 17 15 so you can see that here it goes backward backward counting right 17 then if we go one step backward then 16 then two step if we go then 16 and 15 so here 15 will come so you can see over here that in this we have moved forward only one step over here we are going to move two step backward so 17 is there so 16 and 15 so after over here it is 15 we will write no we will not write 14 but we will write 13 13 then 0449 right now after 13 over here what we will write here it is 13 so 12 we will not write 12 right we are going two step backward so we will not write 12 and but instead of that 11 0 4 9 now over here it is 11 then 10 and 9 so 9 0 4 9 now if i put one back over here then what we will write so 8 No, and seven zero double four nine. So you can see over here that we have moved two step backward, and in this we have forward one step, right? So you can see that how we are filling this missing numbers with the help of examples. I hope that you have understood it very well. So now we are going to start with the number system, right? Number. system now you know how many types of number systems are there oh let me tell you that we have two types of number system how many types two types of number system and which are they they are hindu hindu arithmetic system Based on our Indian system and international system that follows 
the pattern of comma that is a little bit different. So then we are going to understand that how both these systems are placing their values and putting commas. Right? So first we will start with Indian system or you can say as Hindu Arabic system. Now in the written Hindu Arabic system or Indian system that we have already learned that how we are placing commas. Indian system. Now for example if I am giving you the number 75865. Now if we want to place the commas according to the Hindu system that is Indian system then how we are going to do that? Then you have to see that first three digit number from the right side you can see that it is from the right this is left. So from the right side, the first three digit, right from the ones period, this is first three digit, that is from the ones period. Yani ki jo teen digit hai, right side se, wo bhi ones ki place se jo start ho te hai, right? You have to count first three digit and then you have to place the comma. After that you have to count two digit and then you have to place the comma. If the number is there. But over here, before sun, there is no number, so we are not going to place the comma. So now, for example, if I am giving you 1, 3, 6, 4, 8, 5, here we have 6 digits, right? So now, if I say that we have to place the commas, then how we are going to put? So, as I have told you, that you have to count the first three digits from the one space that is one, two, and three. Then you have to place the comma. Then I have told you that only the first time when you are counting, at that time only you will count the three. After then two, two digits. So again, after two digits, we'll place comma. And now from here there is no more digits, so we are not going to place the comma. But if we have over here two digits more. Then we are going to put the comma over here. Right? Now, over here we have the place value chart. Right? Uh, according to Indian system, how you putting the numbers in our place value chart? Uh, here we have the table like ones, then tens, hundreds, then thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, and Ten okay? This is the place value chart that we are learning. So if we are going to put the number that is, we have learned it in lakhs only. So one, six, four, three, two, zero. So this is thousands, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand and lakhs. So as I told you that from the right side first three digit you have to count. So once tens hundred the comma then thousands part will be together. So thousand and ten thousand and then comma and after that next part is there. Right student I hope that you have understood this but now let us understand that how to read and write in the words right if this is the number 164320. So as I have already discussed with you in my previous session that first we will read this part. 1 leg, then 64320. So in the same way as we have spoke, in the same way we are going to write. 1 leg, then this thousand part together. Right? So 64,000, 64,000, then hundreds part, that is 300, and this part together, that is 20. So, this is our Indian system and you have to follow in this way only. I hope that you have understood the Hindu Arabic system or you can say it 
as Indian system. As it is easy for us to understand the Hindu system, right? Because we are used to that thing. But in international system, it is quite difficult. And uh, I hope that you will not make a mistake in the international system. So for that, you need to understand this very much clearly. So now let's start this. In international system, here we are forming the group of three. So if I am writing the number one six zero four three two. So from the right side, you have to start with from the ones, and you have to make a group of three. So this is one stands in hundred. Here we have made the group of three. So we will raise the comma. As I told you that in international system we are going to make a group of three. So from here also, now from the thousands part we will start and we'll make a group of three. So now over here there is no more digits. So we are not going to place the comma. But if we have any kind of digits over here, then here we will place the comma. So this is hundreds. Thousands part and this part after this, this will become our millions part. Which part forms? It forms the millions part. Right? This one is thousands. And this is hundreds. So, in this way, you are going to do this. But, or you can also say it as this is the part of one spot. One thousand and millions. Now, let us put this in the place value chart and understand it more clearly. That how we are going to read this number and how we are going to write this in the international system. Now, if I say that once, tens, hundreds, right? Now, thousands, ten thousands and hundred thousands. Thousands, ten thousand and hundred thousand. Students, in our Hindu system, we were having, after thousand, we were having letter. But over here in international system, we are having hundred thousand. After that, we are having millions, ten millions and hundred millions. So this forms the group of three. This is millions, thousands, and this is ones. Right? Now if I am going to place the value over here, if the value is four, five, six, two, one, zero. So, whenever we were uh, writing the values in Hindu system, right? We how we are writing that this becomes our leg part, this two becomes our thousands, and this hundreds and ones, right? So, how we were reading that thing that this is our leg part, so four leg, this is thousands, fifty six thousand two hundred and ten. But over here we have here it is hundred thousand. So how we are going to read this? We are going to read as 456,210. How? So this is 100. So 400. Now 1000. So 56,200. 210. So over here you have to speak hundreds two times. And how we will write the way we are speaking in the same way we are going to write that thing. So 400, then 56,000, So the same we 
I have written over here four hundred fifty-six thousand two hundred and ten. Let let's see some more examples. If I am writing six two one five four two, so how we are going to read this? As I said, this is hundred. So six hundred twenty-one thousand.